Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we are going to go through the process of making SSH more secure on a freshly installed Linux system. Before we get started, I want to make the announcement that tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be doing a live stream on YouTube to usher in the new year. So if you have questions, if you have suggestions, uh, come on and join the live stream from 10 to 12 or 1 a.m., 10 p.m. to 12 or 1 a.m. And I will uh, do my best to entertain you and usher in 2019. Let's get started with our episode on securing SSH. I am connected via SSH to a machine that I recently uh, put back into service. I installed Linux Mint 19.1, uh, the LXDE edition, I believe it was. But for the purposes of this video, we are going to stick with the command line, so it doesn't really matter uh, other than knowing that it's a Debian-based uh, slash Ubuntu based machine and the task we have at hand today is securing SSH uh, which by default is it is called secure shell for a reason but uh, there are settings that we can change to make it even more secure than what it comes out of the box or off the ISO um, out of the box is kind of a leftover saying from the 80s, I suppose. So, the configuration file that we need to edit is located in slash Etsy slash SSH. Uh, we already are in that directory, so we'll do an LS. And so, we've got a couple of uh, config files worth paying attention to here. We've got sshd underscore config and ssh underscore config. Let's take a look at each of those here real quick. And so this is sshd underscore config. This is the system-wide configuration file it says. Um, and you can do things in this file like change the port the SSH operates on. And one of the things that is suggested to do is to change from the default port of 22 to something that is not the default. So, you know, you know, you could do 22322 or so, something like that. You could pick something else that's more random. Uh, and go from there. So as you can see, it's kind of a, a keyed pair type of configuration file. You've got the configuration name and then the information that goes with that name. So a keyed pair. Uh, so if we look uh, right here, we've got port 22 that's currently commented out with the uh, number sign or hash sign or pound sign whatever you want to call it um, so that's one of the things that we could change if we want to make this more secure another thing that's in the suggested list is permit root logon well you don't want to permit the root user to log on remotely you want to log in as an unprivileged user and then once you're logged into the system you will make the change to being a privileged user using su or using sudo max auth tries um, max number of sessions uh, things of this nature that can be changed and um, you know x11 forwarding may not be what you want to have offered to your users. 
Uh, it all depends on what your purpose is for the given Linux system that you are the system administrator of. On that note, we've reached the end of this file. And so let's take a look at ssh underscore config. This is the SSH client system-wide configuration file. Again, you can go through this list and changes can be made so that you can lock things down further than just the way it comes pre-configured for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through a couple of these. And so we'll do sudo nano sshd underscore config enter the password and one thing i do not like about linux mint is it puts up the stars for your password especially doing videos i am not a big fan of this i've got a list of things to change and we are just going to go down my list one by one and we might turn this into a two-part video depending on how long this takes so uh thing to notice down here at the bottom of nano control w is where is so the first thing we're do is control w and we're going to search for allow tcp forwarding and that was commented out, we're gonna change that to no. So the next one on my list, again, we use control W, oops, helps if I come back over here, control W, um, client, live count max client live count max that's commented out we're going to change it to the recommended of two the next one that we want to look at is compression um, which is right there and delayed or no are the acceptable values. The next one I've got, uh, log level, uh, and we wanna change this from info to verbose. Next one on the list, max off tries. And that is set to six by default. We want to set it to two. So far, so good. Uh, next one on the list is max sessions, which we are right next to. Max sessions, 10 is the default. We're also changing that to two. Okay, let me come up a couple of lines. Permit root login. Um, and we are going to change that to no. And then we're going to, I guess that doesn't work. Permit root login is no. The next one is port. Port. And it's defaulted at 22 say 16,022 just because we're going to do try to find TCP keep alive and that one again is going to change to no and then uh, x11 forwarding is changed to no and then the last one allow agent forwarding 
also gets changed to no. And so that brings us to the end of the list. Control X to exit. Yes to save. And saving sshd underscore config. Okay, we're gonna restart SSH. sudo service SSH restart. And then we'll disconnect. So if we wanna connect using the new port number, we'll do SSH username at the IP address. Dash P for port number. And 16022 is what we decided on. And it does, in fact, let us in. So now, uh, what I want to do is history grep Linus. My first run through this. Um, and granted it's using an older version of Linus for whatever reason from the repository, but um, we're going to go ahead and rerun um, command 55 and see if our security profile improves or has improved from the 56% that I got before making changes. And yes, more than four months old, it's going to complain at us for a little while. Hopefully it'll be happier with the SSH config. Okay, so if we scroll back up just a little bit, uh, yes, we moved from a 56 to a 64. <laughs> so, uh, while I'm still not happy with this, this is something that we will continue to work on. Uh, again, this was a Linux Mint 19.1 box that I just put back into service, fresh install a couple of days ago. And so, this is something I'm going to continue in the videos working through and we'll see if we can't get the hardening index up to somewhere around an 85 or 90. I would be satisfied with a minimum of an 85. Uh, but keep in mind that security is a balance between being secure and having the system usable. If you keep that in mind, it'll go a long way. Hopefully, it'll make a difference. And that little piece of advice can be applied to whatever operating system you're running, whether it's uh, Linux, Mac OS, BSD, Windows, uh, OS2, what have you. You, you know, you, you've got to balance usability with the security. So, on that note, uh, I'm going to end this now so I can edit the video down and get it released to YouTube. I will be back online at approximately 10 p.m. Eastern time tonight to help bring in the new year. And I'm looking forward to seeing at least a handful of you at that time. Until then, or until next year, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support that I've received from everybody over this past year and a half. And I look forward to bringing you some more great content in 2019. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.